Have you ever felt a whisper in your soul, a gentle nudge that it's time to move on, to leave the familiar behind, and enter a destiny designed just for you? This video delves deeply into the crucial moments when God signals a big change in our lives, moments when the chosen realize that they are destined for greater things throughout our lives. We face turning points, subtle touches from God signaling that it's time for a big change. You are about to leave, he whispers softly, suggesting a journey that goes beyond a mere change of location. This call involves a profound spiritual evolution, encouraging us to abandon old struggles and limitations in order to embrace a future full of purpose and aligned with divine plans. It is a departure from past stagnation, drawing us into the new and exciting possibilities that God has provided. For us, are you at a crossroads feeling the weight of stagnation or sensing that change is near but don't know how to proceed? How does the idea of leaving everything you know for something divinely appointed resonate with you? Have you considered what lies beyond the current chapter of your life? You are on the threshold of something extraordinary, ready to take a leap far beyond the routine issues and patterns that have previously shaped your life. However, it's crucial to realize that not everyone in your current circle is destined to take this leap with you at this time of transformation. It is vital to keep sight of your destiny and the reasons why you were chosen for this path. Separating from those who are not aligned with your greater purpose can be challenging, but it is necessary for your spiritual evolution. Remember that each person has their own time and growth path. In this sense, we investigate what it really means to receive a call or sign from God, a deeply spiritual and transformative experience when God calls the chosen. It's not just a whisper in the wind. It's a deep, transformative nudge that propels you towards the path you were destined to walk. It can mean the voice that echoes within us and represents the beginning of a change in the way we see the world, how we see ourselves, and how we behave. There is no right time or place to receive the call. It usually comes at times of crisis loss, financial difficulties, or when we simply have the distinct feeling that something is missing in our lives. It's a kind of awakening in which we are invited to put inertia aside in order to pursue our dreams and goals and turn them into reality to bring this concept to life. Let's consider some real-life examples. Imagine someone who has spent years in a comfortable but unsatisfying job, suddenly feeling an inexplicable need to resign and start a non-profit organization that helps underprivileged children, or think of someone who, in the midst of personal turmoil, feels a strong urge to leave everything behind and embark on a spiritual journey around the world in search of deeper truths and connections. These stories are not just tales of change. They are testimonies to the power of answering God's call. Each story echoes a common theme. Embracing the call has transformed their lives in ways they never imagined opening doors to new opportunities and deeper realizations. These transformative calls lead individuals to leave behind the familiar and leap into the unknown, armed with faith and a sense of divine purpose. As we explore these personal journeys, it becomes clear that being one of the chosen involves more than change. It's about evolution and growth. It is a privilege and a deep responsibility to respond when called as this puts you on the path to true purpose and fulfillment. Many people feel somewhat confused about how to begin to understand their calling. There is no right or wrong way. What is needed, in fact, is to open your eyes to see more clearly the world around you and the world within you. Moving on. Let's explore how you can identify the signs that you may be experiencing a deep call from God, a call to take on a greater role or start a new chapter in your life. These signs often manifest subtly, but they have a deep meaning, resonating within us on a level that is hard to ignore. Common indicators include a persistent feeling of restlessness or dissatisfaction with current circumstances, despite there being no obvious reasons for such feelings. You may end up dreaming of different, more meaningful activities or feeling a gap between your daily activities and your true potential. Another sign is the unexpected convergence of events or opportunities that seem to point in a new direction. 
These could be new people you meet seemingly by chance, who inspire you or offer opportunity that align perfectly with the deepest desires you nurture, or you may experience a sudden surge of courage or clarity about how to make a change. A moment of insight that seems divinely inspired as you reflect on these indicators. Ask yourself if you have noticed any of these signs in your life. Have you felt a nagging attraction to something different? Something that seems more aligned with your true purpose? These feelings and experiences are not random. They are potentially your call to embrace a higher destiny understanding and recognizing these signs are crucial first steps by becoming aware of them. You can better prepare yourself to respond when the time comes, ensuring that you are ready to move forward into the life you are truly meant to live. This awareness not only helps you anticipate change, but also gives you the confidence to, to accept it. When it comes in this context, it's worth reminding you, my chosen friends, that not all actions reflect the divine call. It is important to note that seeking fame and recognition, for example, does not correspond to God's call, our. Focus should be on serving and honoring God, not on seeking the approval of others. Likewise, the incessant pursuit of riches and material success can distract us from God's true purpose. God encourages us to prioritize His kingdom and justice, ensuring that our needs will be met according to His promise. Likewise, behaviors that manipulate or exploit other people are off the path that God has planned for us. We are called to express love, compassion, and respect in all our relationships. We must also avoid destructive or N-E negative attitudes, such as hatred, resentment, and hurt more than just a physical change. This journey represents a spiritual transition towards a greater and more rewarding destiny that God envisions for you. As you embark on this path, remember that it was designed specifically for you by God. It will require faith, courage, and a willingness to venture into the unknown. When God mentions you are about to leave, he is referring not just to a physical move, but to a significant transformation in your body. This change involves breaking away from the restrictions that have limited you, leaving behind harmful habits and environments, and moving towards a life that truly reflects God's intentions for you. This profound change will deeply affect who you are. You are prepared to release things that are no longer aligned with God's greater plan for your life, things that have weight. God's call to move forward is essentially an invitation to a future filled with His blessings, a future that brings you closer to the unique role He has specifically designed for you. Preparing for this change means recognizing that you may have to undertake this journey alone or with just a few people by your side. This journey then is not just a geographical change but a profound metamorphosis of your spiritual landscape as you prepare to leave. Remember that it is an intensely personal process, sometimes requiring solitude or the company of only a select few who truly understand and share your commitment. This path has been divinely appointed for you. It requires a level of faith and courage that comes from within urging you to leave behind familiar territory and venture into new realms filled with God's blessings. This transformation is destined to refine your spirit and align your life more closely with God's all-encompassing plan. This spiritual journey marked by God's call is not just about moving from one place to another, but about the evolution of your very being with every step you take. You are moving closer to your true purpose, the one that was written by God from the beginning of time. This call is not for the faint of heart, but for the strong of spirit. Those who are willing to face challenges and walk with unwavering faith by accepting this invitation, you are also accepting the need for transformation. It's a process that can be painful and lonely, but which is necessary for your spiritual growth on this path. You will be challenged to leave behind old habits, limiting beliefs, and all the things that no longer serve your divine purpose. It is an invitation to trust God fully, knowing that He will guide your every step. You may feel vulnerable and insecure, but that's when your faith will be strengthened, and as you persist, you will begin to see the manifestation of the promised, blessings revealing themselves in your life, in ways you could never have imagined. 
God calls each of us chosen ones to different things such as relationships, jobs, ministries, cities, etc. Understand that sometimes He calls us to start doing things, and sometimes He calls us to stop doing things. Sometimes He calls us to go, and sometimes He calls us to stay right where we are. God often confirms what He is asking us to do through situations and even through other people. If you're not sure about a possible calling in your life, ask God to make it clear to you by sending some kind of confirmation. He doesn't want you to be confused. So don't hesitate to ask Him for wisdom if you are seeking His will with an obedient heart. He will make the call clear to you. And when He makes it clear, I encourage you to do what He is asking you to. Do immediately, I've learned from experience, that delayed obedience results in delayed blessings. So if He's asking you to be quiet, be quiet so that He can start working on your situation. If He's asking you to get up and go get up so that He can work on you and through you, the sooner we obey the sooner he can begin his glory and our ultimate good. Here are three Bible stories that will help us understand God's call. More deeply, each one highlights the principle of preparation. One God calls weak and incapable people to him. Moses' life can be divided into three unique sections. The first 40 years Moses spends learning in Egypt. The next 40 years are spent tending sheep. And finally, the last 40 were spent in the desert. Note that in all three places God was preparing Moses. The burning bush experience is the remarkable event, in which Moses is confronted by the presence of the Lord. And it is here that we see God's call for him to be a lead leader. Moses felt inadequate, unable to fulfill God's mission, and probably a little afraid of the Egyptians, the normal routine had settled down for Moses a new responsibility, heightens his sense of inadequacy. He lacks a talent for speaking, and the tools necessary to lead God resolves both issues in uh, Moses' life, and he becomes God's spokesman for the people of Israel. To God calls all people to obedience and faith, faithfulness. God's call came to Samuel when he was young and before he even knew the Lord. The significance of Samuel's call is that at that time the word of the Lord was rare. The Lord used Samuel's ministry in strategic ways to point Israel's eyes to the Messiah who would come later. What strikes me most about Samuel's call is that he responded to God's call with a simple statement. Speak for your servant is listen. Listening may we respond in the same way. Whatever God asks us to do and in whatever age he calls us to do. It 3. God calls his people to speak the truth in dark times for Isaiah. His call was in a cult. Isaiah recognized the state of his personal iniquity and his unworthiness to preach, but God restores him and prepares him for service. God's call is often beyond what we can understand music. So don't rely on your own understanding. And remember, God is active and at the right time causes ears to open and eyes to see his purposes and plans. When talking about God's call, we must be careful. God calls all the chosen to know Him and live for His glory. This is true, but specific calls will look different for each one. God chooses the time, place, manner, content, and means to express His will to His people. Facing challenges is an inevitable part of responding to God's call, but understanding and overcoming these obstacles is crucial to your spiritual journey. A common challenge is fear of the unknown. It's natural to feel apprehensive when entering unknown territory, but remember that God's guidance is with you every step of the way to combat this fear. Focus on the faith that has brought you this far and trust in the divine plan laid out for you. Another challenge is resistance from those around you. The people in your life may not understand or support your decision to follow this new path, they may express doubts or try to persuade you to stay within the bounds of familiarity. It is important to remain firm in your conviction, knowing that not everyone is destined to accompany you on this journey. Seek the support of those who uplift and understand your spiritual goals. Doubt can also be a significant barrier. You may question your abilities or worthiness to follow this divine calling combat these doubts by reminding yourself of past successes and the unique strengths God has given you, affirmations, and 
Positive internal dialogue can bolster your confidence and help you stay focused on your mission. Undoubtedly, there are many confusing feelings that are part of this ingenious process. Accepting our calling makes us realize that in our life we are both creator and creature that we define and walk the path we have set for ourselves. This can cause fear, which is natural, but overcoming this fear of the unknown and facing the obstacles that appear along the way is more than necessary. It's fundamental. Otherwise, our dreams, aspirations, and desires which pop at our minds so much are confined to our minds. It's like creating a beautiful project to build a house. If we don't get our hands dirty, nothing will come of it. Our dreams won't come true. Accepting and answering your call may cause some problems in your life. But this usually happens when we decide to put aside our passive version and get up to pursue what our heart tells us, what is really inside you. What is the true purpose of your life? The call shows us that it's time to face reality and find your truth. The answer lies within you. Realize which issue matters most to you and observe how it develops through your thoughts and actions. That way you'll finally understand the reason for your calling. When you discover your purpose, you'll be ready to roll up your sleeves and start working towards your goals in these final moments. I encourage you to reflect on what we We've discussed. Are you ready to answer this call? Can you see the signs in your life pointing to this new chapter? Embrace this moment of transformation and step boldly into the future that awaits you. Your journey is just beginning, and with faith and determination, you will discover the deep purpose and fulfillment that God has in store for you. As one of the chosen ones, may the Lord bless you and empower you to live a life of per-purpose, passion, and fulfillment in His name.